hello everyone in this video we are going to implement a simple neural network of four clusters so our clusters of data four clusters of data a b c d are defined in a two-dimensional input space the task is to define a neural network for classification of arbitrary points in the two-dimensional space into one of these four classes so we have six steps for implementing this neural network the first step is to define the four clusters of input data which are a p c and d these are defined a equal to random one comma k minus q to random one comma k plus q so we are taking the hundred samples of per class and 0 0.6 is the offset of these classes so now we will plot all these four classes so now the plot is here we will plot the data so here is the all data of these four classes the next step is to define the output coding for all the four clusters and the third step is to prepare inputs and outputs for the network training so now we are <coughs> going to label all these four clusters which are text class a class b class c and class c and now coding for these four separate classes is a equal to minus one minus one minus one plus one for b minus one minus one plus one and minus one for g minus one plus one minus one minus one and for c plus one minus one minus one and minus one so the third step which is prepare inputs and outputs for the training is this was these were output and now we are going to define the inputs these outputs are combined in one variable which is p and now we are going to define the targets which is t so in fourth step we will create and train a multi-layer a multi-layer perceptron which is uh, simply create a neural network so net equal to feed forward net 4 comma 3 and this is the coding for the building the neural simple neural network okay so now we are going to show this neural network using view comma net So here is our simple neural network, two inputs, head and layers, output layer and here is the four outputs. So now we are going to decode the neural network and then plot the neural network which is m comma i equal to max of t target class and mj equal to max of y which is predicted class so number of all samples is n equal to length of y so if we will run this code up to here so there is our targeted and now this is the network response okay now uh, our uh, um, neural network has been evaluated and we have plotted the result which is the fifth step of this neural network and last step we will just plot the classification results for the complete input space so now this is the sixth step plot the classification result based on max activ activation function so we will plot it here we can see the classify all the classified data of these four classes this is class a class b class c and class d or you can simply run the overall code so 
here is uh, the target data this is the network response and these are the classified data